My name is Tom Onslow Cole and I'm a performance coach for the Motorsport UK Academy. We're here today at the Vista Heritage Centre, which is the home of Motorsport UK, to put the Garmin Catalyst through its paces out on circuit. The site we're on is a 444 acre World War II bomber training site that's been repurposed as an automotive hub. As part of the facility here, we've got a small one kilometre track. It's tight and technical, so it's going to be really interesting to see how the Catalyst can help us improve. Hi, I'm Abby Fullink and I'm an Alpine Academy driver. I'm here at Vista Heritage to test out the new Garmin Catalyst. The device automatically identifies your biggest areas of gain. A game changer for any driver. Tom is here with me to try and help me improve on my lap time, explain the Garmin Catalyst to me, as well as going over the data to try and help me get that little bit extra on my lap. Installation of the Garmin Catalyst is actually really simple. It's got this really strong suction mount, two double brackets here which give you so much adjustability you shouldn't have any problem getting the correct angles. Simply just push this onto the windscreen, secure the clip and that's solidly on there. You've then got a magnetic fixing for the main unit to the bracket and away you go. As part of the Catalyst kit, you get this small remote cam. It's really easy to install. You peel the sticker off here, and then you want to stick it centrally in the windscreen and then follow the on-screen instructions just to perfect that setup. For me, it's about all the little gains as a driver. So with Tom and his help and the Garmin Catalyst, I'm sure we'll be able to get that perfect lap out of me. As a coach and a driver myself, I'm really excited to see this product come to market. We haven't had a piece of technology like this before and it's going to be really interesting to see how we can utilise this. I've got the Vista circuit loaded into the Garmin Catalyst. I'm particularly looking forward to the live coaching feedback and we're going to see what information we can generate out of the system. Starting first lap. We need three laps just to build up a bit of a baseline. 31.5. Okay, so that's one lap down. The system's now starting to record our data. 30.73. Excellent session there. We've now got some good laps in the Catalyst system. So let's have a little look at the opportunities it's given us. So if I click on the opportunities, okay, this is an interesting one. So we're looking at turn one and it's saying on our fastest lap, we were three meters later and 3% harder. Oh, that's quite fine, isn't it? 3%. Yes. In the data here, you can see that you broke later, harder, same minimum speed, got it stopped, then we got out. This is quite a small change, to be honest. We'll take that information and just try to put that in there regularly. Looking at opportunity two, we'll concentrate on braking again. So this is down at the bottom corner. We're talking about one meter later and 4% harder. So again, very fine reading there. I think what's interesting on the graph there actually is the slower minimum corner speed has given us that nice exit. I think what we should do, take those two on board. So this opportunity here, which was braking three meters later, let's try and nail that down as a nice consistency. And then we'll take the one meter later down at the far corner and see if we can bring that lap time down a little further. Yeah. Let's do it. Starting first lap. Turn one here, it was three meters that we're looking for. Next left, break earlier. It's doing my job for me Nice there. work. <laughs> Bye. 30.7. <laughs> yeah. So in this corner here, we were only looking for that consistent braking one metre later. Nice work. 30.58. Another lap record for us. Next right, apex earlier. A little earlier apex, bit of curve. Nice. 30.35. You best. Good turn in. Oh, lovely. Breaking really consistent down there now. Really good. Next right, apex earlier. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. 30.21. <laughs> so close to the 29. Three tenths, that's amazing. Okay, so build up and we'll go for it. This lap.
of Apex. Nice work. It'd be interesting now to go back and see the, the opportunities. Now we've made those gains that you talked about. Got some live coaching while we were there as well. And compare it then as well to how we improved from the last session. Exactly, and now we can go and like overlay and look in depth at it. But getting those huge suggestions while we were out there on the lap, that really helped. Like we saw that on the lap time then. Got down to 29.9, which is really good. That's thanks to the catalyst helping us, you know, use a bit extra exit on some of the corners, you know, knowing where we can maximise the track positioning. And our camera that lets us know exactly where we were braking and where it wants us to brake really helps. So it says it's been really fun. I've been reviewing the data, you know, we could see where I needed to improve. Something I really loved was the Delta in car. On top of that, the coaching, the track positioning and post-session analysis was so accurate and this technology can really help people improve themselves on track. I've really enjoyed working with the Garmin Catalyst system. Where I was really impressed with is picking up very small intricacies in the, in the differences in laps and that's something you can't always just feel while you're out on the circuit. It's the next level of sort of instrumentation. It helps us get to our quickest lap faster than we would have if we'd had to get out of the car each time, sit down and review. You can see its applications quite wide across motorsport. As a track day enthusiast you can just put this in your car and you'll instantly be guided towards repeating your best laps and making improvements. Nice work.